And welcome back to the Daily Wrap. It's time for yay or nay. First up, Hillary Clinton's email scandal. It just won't go away. A House Select Committee on Benghazi today requesting a formal interview with the former Secretary of State over her use of a private email account and personal computer server during her tenure. Two-part yay or nay, everybody. Should she agree to the interview? And if she agrees, will anything worthwhile come out of it, Mr. Hirschfield? I'm going to go with yay and nay. She should absolutely agree. She has to agree. She has no choice about agreeing. If she's actually going to run for president, will anything meaningful come out of it? I don't know. When you burn down the entire electronic record of everything you did while you served, it's hard to get the useful information. <laughs> Heather? I think she's already agreed, and I think she's actually been smart. She said, I'll do it, but I want to do it in public because I don't want you spinning whatever we say in private and trying to use it against me. And I think that's smart. And I'm wondering if they're going to call her bluff. Will anything come of it? I don't know. Four, USA Today reported today four emails emails have already been produced that she gave to the, that back to the State Department. Mm -hmm. And each one of those has a little something that's a little bit distasteful, nothing, no burning fires, nothing that's going to totally rock the boat. But I think that there's stuff there. Rick, you obviously think this will bring down the entire candidacy. Oh, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> <It's all laughs> over the I'm with Brad on this one, a yay and a nay. Yes, she'll do it. And I think apparently she's already said she'll do it. And nay, ain't nothing going to get to her on this. And honestly, I have no yay or nay. What difference does it make? <laughs> Our prayers have finally been answered. Well, most of us anyway. Mickey D's is going to try to sell breakfast menu items all day in some of its restaurants in San Diego beginning in April. Yep, studies have found that the most coveted items McDonald's sells are their fries and their breakfast items like hash browns and egg McMuffins and something called McGriddles. I obviously haven't been there for breakfast in a while. <laughs> but try ordering any of those after 10.30 in the morning. The looks you get, what do you mean you want one of those? McDonald's stock has been dropping over the past few years, and there are still some kinks to work out, but San Diego, they're going to be the first to enjoy this. Will McDonald's make a comeback as a result of being able to order pancakes at 8 o'clock at night? Brad Hirschfield. I don't know if I'd build a whole future of McDonald's on that. <laughs> My parents used to live across from Mrs. Croc. But from we Mrs. Are, what? Mrs. Croc, Mrs. Ray Croc's, Croc's widow. Yeah. That he started McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. She's huh. a nice old lady. So it turns out that we're a breakfast for dinner kind of family. So I think a lot of people are. Yeah. I don't know if we'll rebuild the whole company, but why not? Definitely serve what you want whenever you want. Makes sense. I agree with that. You know what the big issue is? Griddle space. I was reading about it today. There's not enough space in the griddle for all the breakfast meats and the hamburgers. So it may be that the <laughs> breakfast meats are going to take over. It's griddle space has always been the problem. You've been thinking, why can't I get my breakfast space. It turns at out noon? it's griddle space. It's griddle space. <laughs> Now you know. I haven't been in a McDonald's <laughs> in 20 years. I so don't care. Uh, I'm going to go with Brad on this. Yeah, I mean, it might do well for them, but it's not going to reinvent their business. Right. Okay. No. I am a yay, and if I'm IHOP, I'm pretty scared. Right? Yeah, you look frightened. <laughs> or any diner in Jersey. Anyway, next, a Wichita man is facing 11 plus years in prison. Forget this, stealing a wedding ring and purse out of a woman's truck as she was suffering a brain Ooh. aneurysm at a Taco Bell drive through back in 2013. <sighs> A jury convicted the man of an aggravated burglary, robbery, misdemeanor theft, you name it. The victim, a wife and a mother of two, was picking up dinner for her family when the aneurysm occurred and she crashed her truck into the speaker box of the drive through She passed away the next day at the hospital. So this is a two-part question as well. Should this man get life in prison? That's part one. And should he be executed by firing squad, more like... The woman is dying, and you're taking off the wedding ring. I mean, I, I don't even know if it's a yay or nay, more like just a reason for me to get angry again. Yeah. <laughs> I think anger is clearly, look, it's grotesque, but I don't know that we should punish people because of how we feel about what they did. It really is about what the law is mm -hmm. and what the infraction was. Is it gross? Is it horrible? Yeah, it's disgusting, and it's, it's an incredible tragedy. But I don't know the fact that she was having an aneurysm makes it worse than going down the street, breaking into someone's car, and ripping the jewelry off their hands if perfectly healthy. Yeah. I guess, Heather, maybe we, he didn't know that she was dying no, and maybe he just knew. thought that... Not only did he know, <laughs> but he was... <laughs> this guy... Well, you just made me want to forgive a little no, bit. No, don't forgive. I think, I think that there's something wrong with this man, and I don't think he's capable of rehabilitation. He was on 
probation from a felony that he had already committed. Mm -hmm. And there are multiple other crimes that he has committed and been convicted of. Clearly, he's incapable of rehabilitation. And if, I, while I agree that you want the law to be consistent and you don't give people more sentences, mm -hmm. this is a guy who should be locked away and kept away from society so that he's not stealing things from dead people. So nay on the firing squad, yeah. but nay on, yay the, on the 11 yay years on in prison. I, I'll tell you what, in the control room should get ready with the bleep bleep machine. Uh, what we, we need, no. <laughs> what we, <laughs> no, what we, what we, we need, need is, a is a new felony where you, you could be punished for being a stark raving bleep bleep. Because that's what, I mean, this is one sick right. bleep bleep bleep. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's horrible. Interesting. <laughs> They're bleep bleeping in my ear. They're bleeping out. They're bleeping on us. I thought when you were going to go bleep bleeping, you were going to talk about that time where you used to use Morse code. <laughs> <laughs> so, like when, so. no, he definitely what a is jerk. not. It, it's not as if he was looking to feed his kids or something. It's just the whole story is so distasteful. That's guy. true. And we, we have to end on a, on a light note. So, Brad, I like your tie. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't I steal like it from a woman tie. dying of an oh, aneurysm. Yeah. So I've got that going for me. You got that going. Uh, right. That's a better, oh, better, better. We always end on a light note. Anyway panel. Thank you so much. We'll be back here tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Daily Wrap. I'm Joe Concha saying stay classy, planet Earth.